Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation, a bite of the local life, investigating the rural cultural food tourism on the islands of Ginu in Estonia. This presentation looks into the local strategy Ginu people are taking and the challenge they're facing on achieving a sustainable development of the community. To start with,、uh, I want to give you some background、uh, about. The islands becoming a heritage and becoming a tourist destination. Off the east, eastern coast of the Baltic Sea, the small Estonian island Ginu is home to a community with about four hundred year-round residents. Resulting from the island's isolation, the community has maintained its traditional livelihood with men going out to sea fishing, hunting seal and sea farming, while women farming. On the land, herding and maintaining households, and after regaining its independence in 1991, Estonia advanced rapidly in its modernization, urbanization, and different processes on development, while embracing freely to the global influence and binding closely with EU,、uh, Europe again. Under the depiction, which is not with that romantic imagination from earliest. Followers and intellect,、uh, intellectuals who had the chance to visit the island, as well as the comparison with the daily changing mainland, the island of Ginu with its picturesque natural landscape, rural architecture, distinct communal lifestyle, and a rich variety of cultural expressions, become known as a living example to this、uh, of the disappearing Estonian past. In 2003, as a unique depository of traditional culture, Ginu Cultural Space got listed、uh, in the UNESCO list of master pieces of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity. While becoming a representative national heritage, Ginu has also increasingly become a popular tourist destination for not only Estonian domestic visitors. But also tourists with different interests worldwide. In the depict,、uh, depi uh, description for its heritage nomination and in the introduction of the island from Ginu Museum and from the Ginu Travel Wheel, which is an official guide、uh, developed by local cultural leaders and tourism、uh, entrepreneurs. And later on, got adopted widely by the locals and tourist populations. The uniqueness of orig and originality of Ginu lies in the natural environment, the community's communal lifestyle, and variety of well-kept alive livelihood practice and traditional cultural expressions.、Uh, expressions, most distinguishedly, the local language, traditional singing, instrumental music and dancing, marine skills, and native art. Traditional costumes worn in daily basis and handicraft skills, folk calendar festivals and wedding traditions. Ginu's impressive landscape of ocean and forest, tranquil rural and island environment, as well as unique traditional culture and lifestyle, attract and become the most picture,、uh, favorite pic depicting themes for many photographers, travel、uh, writers and programs artists. Documentary makers and academics, including me, the environment and cultural、uh, experiences are in hand also become the most enchanting attractions for leisure tourists and selling and selling point in the tourist market. Today, Ginu is attracting many urban Estonians and visitors from most noticeably Finland, German, Latvia, Russia, England, and Japan. As a small island in a small country of Estonia, it is one of the most popular destination of more than with more than a half of hundred ships and two thousand visitors in two thousand and eighteen. As much as the making of Ginu as a cultural heritage bay being a process of metacultural production, Ginu's grows to a, a tourist destination of heritage and cultural experiences. It's produced and reproduced by multiple forces within a complex and fluid network of power relations. Different interests and needs are constantly interacting, shaping, and negotiating with each other. 
and food is one of the many fields that mirrors the meta production process of heritage tourism and the rural community of Ginu. Although not as outstanding as others back in the current image about Ginu as a heritage space, food is still essential in the island's tourist infrastructure and economic development. It is also an inseparable part of the heritage and tourist experience on the island as a whole. However, uh, more, uh, moreover, as the development of Ginu as a heritage space and as a tourist destination grows, the construction of Ginu food heritage and development of cultural food tourism also strive on the island. The growing fame of Ginu and increasing amount of visitors with different interests and from different countries have brought and continued the call for development of tourism and service industry. And in the case of Ginu, besides the improvement of public infrastructure, the tourism development impacts very directly to the living conditions and everyday life of Ginu residents, from their home to land, home and land, and their food and drink. Had been a relatively uh, exclusive island until recent years, Ginu did not have convenient transportation, sufficient accommodation, and catering service at all for visitors like today. Facing the growing interest and needs from visitors, besides the employment increase from the expanding local public service, cultural institutes, and foundation, and existing local companies, most noticeably, many Ginu locals set up their own businesses. Common among them are travel company, traditional folk singing and dancing concerts, at home or online handicraft shops, as well as another two essential sectors accommodation and catering. Comparing with many bigger and known uh, resort islands like Ibiza in Spain, Langkawi in Malaysia, and the largest island, Salama, nearby in Estonia, food tourism on Gino is still relatively new and limited but has its own developing pattern and unique taste. Ginu is still more of an island where people are building their life with a routine of growing or buying and making their food, and occasions where limitations of food supply and variety of food and materials can happen. When tourism started to boom around at the same time when Ginu became a heritage space at the beginning of the 21st century, many locals drive their own businesses with homemade foods product and from offering home dining in their own homestays, which is still the most common and also the only available way of accommodation on the island for individual and small group visitors who are looking for a roof instead of camping on one's own tanks in the wildland. With many visitors interested in the sense of natural and a special authentic rural heritage experience on the island, Although partly results from the limitation and underdevelopment of the catering industry, the local homemade food and home dining experiences provided by the locals turn out to be a more favorable and well-received um, choice by the visitors. In addition to home restaurants, more dining options are also springing on the island. Today, there are restaurants, farmhouse, cafe, and bar, and different pop-up atries like the picture on the right corner, bot uh, bottom of the right corner, uh, producing a rich collection of local foods, especially uh, specialties, and providing various type of culinary experience around the island. While home restaurant and home dining at homestays require advanced bookings. There are dining places run regularly during the tourist season. Some open part town and organize uh, or participate occasionally at events and festivals like the Ginu Cafe Day um, took place in July of 2019. There are also farms, companies, and individuals making homemade specialties according to the availability of a material and the time of themselves. All these atries uh, make it possible for visitors to have a place to rest and refresh with some local food and drinks, only at the center, not only at the center, but around the island. 
They also offer different kinds of food ranging from local Guinea specialties to foods that are suitable for the growing consumers with different special requirements like children meal, uh, lactose-free and vegetarian menus. And foods that can be commonly found in Estonia or around the globe like pizza, pasta and burgers, which expands the food choices for not only visitors but also generations of uh, uh, Iceland residents. For Guinea people, tourism development partly means building their home and improving community neighborhoods on their own hands, operating, opening their own house, sharing their own dining tables and food, part of their personal everyday life to the others as well. Like their traditional folk singing and dancing, many marine and rural food traditions and customs are still alive on the island as part of Guinea people's everyday life. Obtaining many materials from the sea, the forests, and their farming lands common on Guinea's people's kitchens are rye, potatoes, seasonal fish like haling, uh, eel, white fish, and garfish, berries, tomatoes, cucumbers, meats, and cheese, and so on, with the increasing, uh, increasingly convenient transportation to more shops in the, uh, in the mainland. While wider range and more convenient options are available, many Guinea people still make their own bread from scratch, catch and small fish with wood, harvest potato and vegetable from their own fields and garden, and cook homemade meals according to the seasonal available materials in ways that have passed through generations or shared within the family. These household dishes Guinea people know in hearts and made with their own hands uh, become what they serve to visitors in their homestays and what they put on menus in farm, cafe and restaurant they open. When ones take a bite on the food made by the locals, they are also tasting into the life ways, skills and knowledge Guinea people keep alive from their ancestors and add with hard work and creativity of their own. In one breakfast I had at Male Mata's homestay, Male introduced me uh, some usual food for Guinea people. The first things Male brought to me was porridge and bread, uh, both the dark rye bread now known as Guinea Laib and the rye bread Guinea Sai. Along with butter, salty Baltic hollings, uh, herring salad and fresh strawberry jams her family made from strawberries they picked together a few days earlier. Had some uh, had made some meat pastry called liha bilugas and a curd cheese cake uh, to use up the leftover strawberry from her own family at the same time uh, for her own family at the same time. Mali also generally uh, generously offer me some. Have some. I will be very happy if you do. The meatballs and cakes are traditionally favorite uh, festival food for us. We like sharing it with our guests. We deforce the meat and have the strawberry uh, prepared to make something. So we have quite a lot. It is not much more effort and if we don't use up the material, it will be a waste anyway. I will take some to my family, some neighbors and friends as well, said Malet. Making and having foods on Gino are like teamwork of families and even the whole, com- uh, the whole community. And as for visitors, taking a bite here can mean becoming a part of the team and sharing the communal life on the island. Along with the development of tourism as a cultural heritage space, food and food tradition on the island are also actively being re- reinvented and produced as the local food and heritage of Ginu contributing further to the construction of localism and heritageization of Ginu as a rural living heritage. When Ginu people are making, introducing, sharing and selling any food and experiences, they could be named and become known and valued as Ginu's local specialties. And along with the history, knowledge and skills about the food, as well as its current ways of productions, consumptions and distributions, the food and the dining experience are under an active uh, process of construction as one part of the overall living heritage Guinea holds and can provide.
Although dark rye bread leaf is widely consumed around Estonia, and there are varieties of recipes and baking methods in different regions, homemade bread Ginu people are making like generations of them have been doing. Are now distinguishedly introduced and known as Ginu leaf. They are sold and consumed as souvenirs, as quality handmade products that preserve the local and Estonian tradition. When women, a woman making bread for her family, becomes at the same time the bearer, practitioner, creator, and promoter of Ginu cultural heritage, just like how Mala use the diff, uh, uh, available materials as few as possible to make food for her own family. While at the same time also make share and introduce different traditionally daily and festive foods to tourist guests like me, food tourism on Ginu are closely bound with the practical needs of both the local and visitors in face with the limited environment, as well as their growing economic and social cultural interests on the surviving practice practice of a food tradition. It is the need, the benefits, as well as the creative. Uh, creativity people are putting in at the at the current the support and continued the transmission of food traditions from the past and recreate it into the future. Although tourism has been growing rapidly in recent years, it is not without challenges to achieve a sustainable development of to to uh, food tourism that is in balance of. Natural environment, heritage preservation, the interests of visitors, and the life improvement of the local community on Ginu, as many heritage spaces and rural communities around the world are facing. Seafood and sea activities of fishing and seal hunting have been a very important part of the traditional lifestyle and local economic of Ginu. Due to the environmental change as well as the regulations on fishing and seal hunting, the main economic activity for Ginu men has been declining and increasingly switching to fishing and constructions elsewhere, uh, in our, in the mainland and Scandinavian countries, uh, commonly. Although fishing is still alive in recent years with the tourist development and the growing interest of the local traditional food. From fresh fish meal to fish snack, it is not the same anymore," said one local. There are a few uh, families still uh, fish fishing, partly uh, for living, but it is harder day by day. Just some men do small fishing sometimes now, and main uh, main uh, the most of them are getting quite old already. Getting more and more famous and demands uh, as the local specialties, it is not clear that how Ginu can balance the market's interest on smoked eel, the needs to preserve the traditional uh, the traditions of fishing and small fish, as well as the needs to adapt to and protect the environment. Moreover. The employment and economic opportunities in growth also bring back many、um, Icelanders, who previously have moved out or no longer have been living on the island for year round. Particularly for the young generation, many of whom have grown up with strong attachment to the island and the community, yet has to be away for educations or jobs, a possible better life for the next generation. Now it is possible to build. That better house, better life, and better future at home on the island. Therefore, the island is facing a growing need of catering from not only the visitors but also the locals. Visitors from increasingly different cultures are having various requests, besides from Ginu local specialties. The growing population of vegetarians and vegans. People might also need some food from their own culture. From, for example, more than that, there are stronger interests on different foods from the locals. Both the relatively older generation who has been living on the island for most of their life, and the return locals who are more used to rich food options.
while food tourism and local food consumptions are growing tightly hand in hand, the island is facing rather battling needs of the preservation of the local food tradition as a prior resource for food tourism, and the improvement of a variety for both the tourists and the locals. Also, can be seen from the above conversations、um, I have with a year-round resident who is working for a tourist、uh, point and running a house、uh, homestay herself. The whole tourism economy on the island, particularly the still rather underdeveloped food catering, is highly seasonal. Although giving some times for the locals to rest from the busy tourist season in the summer. And for taking care of their home and land, doing works like preparing food storage and making handicraft, who is,、uh, which is also important for the community to maintain their traditions and unique lifestyle. The seasonal tourism is also leading many uncertainty and difficulties to a, su- a sustainable economic growth and improvement of local livelihood, because the income is seasonal. People will still need to seek、uh, and keep multiple jobs. Which in turn is leading to a seasonal stay on the island for the locals. Currently, many、uh, residents are living or working on the island during the summer seasons or weekends, while still lead their leading their life、uh, mainly on the island. Without a sustainable and overall improvement of livelihood, the local community and the、uh, cultural heritage are hard to continue transmitting and building their life on the island. And it is such preserved natural environment, living conditions, and communal lifestyle consisting the most、uh, distinct uniqueness of Gino as a heritage space, where the possibility of ongoing growth and prosperity of local tourism、uh, crucially lies. The sustainability of heritage and local livelihood development is the profound resource for. Why in turn also increasingly depends on the sustainability of tourism on the island. That will be all of my presentation this time. Thank you very much.